What's up crafters? It's Sabrina with Minecrafts by Sabrina, where our crafts are anything but square. Today I'm going to be sharing how to do the knockout method. We're going to be doing this in Inkscape, so this is for all you PC users. Before we get started, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to welcome you, and don't forget to like and subscribe. So in Inkscape, we're going to open a new document, and on the left side, we're going to select the Insert Tool button. We're going to drag and drop in order to create a text box. In that text box, you can begin typing the words that you want, and then highlight them and select the font from your menu. After your font has been selected, you can hold Control Shift and then click and drag your text in order to make it larger. You want to hold Control Shift because that's going to keep it proportionate. Now we need to weld our text. It's currently just an object. It's not a cut path. So we're going to weld them by doing Control Shift and the plus symbol. You can also go to the path menu and select path union. This is the same thing like welding in design space. So once you do it, it can't be undone. Selecting the insert tool again, we're going to drag and drop, create our text box, type out your names, highlight them, and then change your font in the font menu. I'm going to be using I Love Glitter. Then we're going to hold down Control Shift, select your text and drag in order to enlarge it. And then again, we need to turn this into a cut path. So we're going to do Control Shift and the plus symbol or go to the path menu and select union. Once again, this is just like Walden Design Space, so you can't change it once you've done it. Now that the text is completed, we need to create an offset that we're gonna use for the knockout effect. So I'm going to select my text, duplicate it, and then change the color. Then I'm going to press Control-0 on my keyboard to create an offset. I'm going to continue pressing 0 while holding the Control button until it's as wide as I desire. Then I'm going to lower it by pressing Page Down on the keyboard or you can use the lower icon. Once it's set up, if you like it the way it is, you're good to go. Otherwise, you can make it thicker by continuing to press Control-0. I'm going to grab both my text and my offset and align it over mom as desired. Once it's aligned, I'm going to then select mom and the offset red layer and I'm going to press control and the minus button on the keyboard. You can also go to the path menu and select difference. The file is now ready and we need to save it. So go to File, Save As, and then save your document. You can give it a name and then leave the Save As type as Inkscape SVG. Then we'll go into Design Space, select a new project, select Upload from the left, Upload from the middle, drag and drop your file, and then once it's imported, you can select your image to insert image. Your images are going to appear on your canvas and they're going to be ready to cut. You simply just need to size them and select make it to send them to the mat. Because I didn't attach it and I'm going to cut this in two separate colors, I have two mats and I'm just going to select continue and then follow the prompts on my screen in order to cut them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be notified the next time I post some content.